Okay, I'm gonna work on module one, case problem number two. The page, in terms of page, that's EX163. EX163. Okay, well, let's work on starting number. Number three, number four. Okay, I'm gonna name this she two as employees. Oops. Okay, step five. I five. Right, right there. So we're going to calculate number of days of employment. We have two different dates. Hire date, column H. Report date, which is column G. So you're going to take, according to the instruction, take G5 minus H5. Right? That gave us the number of days of employment. Okay, we have like so many data sets, so I'm gonna just autofill all the way down. Alright, step number six. We're gonna insert a new column between column E and F. So right there. Gonna insert and we're gonna name this new column as full name. So it looks like we're gonna combine first name and last name into full name. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just type whatever we have next angel. Well, as soon as I try to enter. The Excel recognize the pattern, right? And then it'll give us well, what they call flash fill. So you don't have to do the rest of them. Okay? So now full name is complete based on Excel's pretty intelligent recognition, right? Anyway, uh, step six, six, step seven. Step seven, so we're gonna to go to A1, we're gonna type this company name, looks like Muchi, sorry, digital. All right, A2, we're going to enter employee summary. All right, then we're going to increase the column, I mean the font size. A1, 2, 22. A2, 2, 16. Right, then step eight. Step eight ask you enter enter the information as follows. That's in the uh, figure one one that's forty five. So all you have to just enter whatever the words into the cells. But I already type it in so that we can save some time. So that was step eight. Step nine, resize the column, columns as necessary. Sometimes the column size matters. For example, those dates, 
or numbers is too small the number will not show right then you just adjust the column size just like that all right b4 that's step nine i'm sorry step 10 step 10 a b4 need to enter count function for column i which is we're gonna use the higher date so rather than just highlight 500 some point of data just highlight column itself entire column so this will return 578 that's the number of employees step 10 b p6 so from uh, actually uh, column b requires entering those functions most of functions will be some average or division multiplication with simple calculations right so b6 you're going to enter average so we're going to find the average number of days employment column j there you go average well you can use this way or the way it explains is you use the sum function then divide by total number of employees which will give you the same number for example equals sum of j right then you divide by b4 which is same number basically right well, i can give you the uh, formula formula view as you can see different functions but it'll give you the same number right okay let's work on average years of employees we have average days so to or convert into years all you have to do is what just take average days divide by uh, 365.25 okay so that's 3.38 years that will be average years of employment for for this company step d p9 total base salary so looks like we're going to use the sum for base salary column k average base salary well we can take this total base salary divided by number of employees or you can use the average function either way it works now total bonuses bonuses in column l same thing average bonus take total bonus divide by b4 now total compensation that's b13 basically uh, total comp compensation is adding cells b9 and b11 so b9 plus b11 average compensation and divide by b4 right so here we go okay so this is what we got so far column b
Okay, step. What are we? Step G, 10G, P16, sum the total number of six days. Okay, another sum, six days M. Average six days, take that B16, bye bye. B4. And B19, average performance rating. Performance rating is in column N. Again, you can use the sum and divide by B4, which is number of employees, or you can do the average. Either way will work. Now step 12, actually step 11, step 11 asks you to enter new data. The new data is in figure 1-46. So we're going to go down 432, way down, somewhere between Randazzo and Raymond. Right here. So we're going to insert a new row. Then we're going to enter new name AD TYA. Last name Rao. The name becomes Oops. Sales day seven thirty one twenty twenty one higher date seven one twenty twenty one pay salary oh, why is this column J? Pay salary thirty two three hundred three two thousand three hundred then zero bonus six days zero performance rating three okay so step twelve step twelve is just verify whether this update will reflect to the total number of employees, which is B4, which is confirmed. It was 578, now 579. And step 13, the page orientation, so page layout, orientation portrait, or the scale of your page. Right now it's automatic to automatic, so we can make it width to one page. So you want to make it all those uh, data into one page of width so it doesn't go over to the other side. Step that was step 13 and actually that's it. You don't have to print, just save, save it again and make sure it to your assignment.